the RCMP have, have, have advised the hereditary chiefs that they would decommission um, the, the, the trailers that were, were on that roadway. They've done exactly what they've said. And, and they have redeployed their officers to a nearby town, the town of Houston. Is it still part of what's going to be Oh, let, let, let me be very clear, there is no place in Canada, in British Columbia, um, British Columbia has what is called the Provincial Policing Agreement with the RCMP. And there is no place in British Columbia or anywhere in Canada where the citizens of uh, Canadians will be deprived of the services of a police service. Yeah, but so how do you resolve this then? When one side wants the police off their territory and you're saying it's not going to happen, how do you resolve it? Well, well, well I, I think there's a, a very important principle that literally thousands of Canadians that live in that area are entitled to the, the policing services. They, just, they are um, entitled, as every Canadian is, to be, to the serv to be served and protected by a, a, a police service. And that's what takes place in all parts of Canada, including in British Columbia. What have you heard about yesterday's meeting with the hereditary chief? And the RCMP. There, there are ongoing discussions, and, and, and that's be between the parties, and, and I think that's entirely appropriate that, that those issues be addressed, and at the same time, you know, we're very anxious that the barricades will come down. They say they're optimistic well, not, you as well. Well, well, well of course. I, I, think, I think as long as there is dialogue taking place, there is, is hope of, of resolution of the issues that are still in dispute, but, but you know, we'll, we'll wait the results of that. We'll so let you're them do their